How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is the top reasons to eat a plant-based diet and I'm also going to share with you my favorite documentaries on the subject and show you what I recently ate in a day to help give you ideas of healthy food to eat. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. All right, thanks. And keep in mind, I'm now doing fat loss, fitness, and wellness coaching and motivation. So if you're interested in some extra help, some extra coaching, go ahead and email me or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram. And those links are down below in the description box. All right, so I was out here on a walk this afternoon and I wanted to make a video, this has been on my mind, and just briefly wanted to talk about some of the main reasons why I eat a, a plant-based diet and why I recommend it. So, number one, obviously, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know uh, it's for my health. I, from my personal experience and from everything that I've seen, a plant-based diet is the best diet for health. So that's one of the main reasons that I eat a plant-based diet. Number two, from, every, from all the information that I've seen, it's the best diet for the environment and for the earth. So I'm gonna get into that a little bit when I talk about the documentaries. And the third reason, of course, the more plants you eat, the less animals you're harming. So those are the three big reasons and the three main reasons I eat a plant-based diet. For my health, for the earth, and for the animals. And just really quickly wanted to go over some documentaries that I recommend. These are my favorite ones, okay? So first of all is The Game Changers. The Game Changers, they mainly focus on athletes. It's a new documentary. It's on Netflix now. I also have it on iTunes. So if you have not seen The Game Changers, go check that out. It's really motivating and it shows some great athletes that eat a plant-based diet. Um, way back about six or seven years ago, the first two documentaries that I saw on this subject was Forks Over Knives and Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. So that, those two really opened my eyes and I was really surprised when I saw these films because I just had no idea anything about this subject before seeing those two films. So I recommend those. They're on Netflix, I believe, so check those out. There's also uh, What the Health, which is on Netflix. There's Cowspiracy, I believe that's on Netflix, and that one mainly focuses on the environmental impact of eating a high animal food diet. So check out, check out Cowspiracy. Um, there's also Earthlings, which focuses on the animals, and I don't believe that's on Netflix. You have to go to their website to watch that one. So check out Earthlings. And I'll have a list of all these in the description box as well, so you can refer to that. So those are pretty much my favorite documentaries on a plant-based diet. The Game Changers, What the Health, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, Cowspiracy, Earthlings. So check, check all those out. Like I said, most of those you can find on Netflix. And here is what I recently ate in a day. Of course, I'm intermittent fasting as always. I highly recommend looking into a fasting focused lifestyle. I eat between a two hour and an eight hour window every day, which means I'm fasting anywhere between 16 and 22 hours a day. All right, here's what I had. Okay, so at 11 a.m. I started out with a smoothie. It was a banana, some berries, and some water. Pretty simple, just to get things started. I usually like to start with either a smoothie or a green juice or some fruit and say hi to my dog. All right, then at, at 1.30, I had oatmeal. It was two servings of oatmeal. And I had two bananas that I sliced up put in there. I had some peanut butter. I had an apple I sliced up and I put in there. And I had some chocolate chia pudding, which was just chia seeds, water, and cocoa powder mixed and refrigerated. So I cooked that up. And that is a really satisfying bowl of oatmeal. That's one of my favorite combinations right there. So I had that at 1.30. And that kept me full. And then at five o'clock, I had a salad with greens, cucumber, tomatoes, celery, carrots, and pine nuts. And some other mixed nuts as well. So I just cut all that up and had a great salad and had some leftover shepherd's pie, two big bowls of that. And then right after that, I had two bananas. So thanks for watching everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video and we'll be back soon with another video. Bye-bye.